President Trump threatening bold new action in the fight over border security. Trump saying he'll shut down the southern border amid new warnings about a wave of immigrants overwhelming the system. The president already cutting foreign aid to three Central American countries, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador this weekend. This comes as Border Patrol agents expect to see over 100,000 apprehensions in March alone. That's the highest in over a decade. And the Customs and Border Patrol Commissioner saying the situation is at a breaking point and that he's, quote, never seen anything like this before. Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen announcing she is ordering hundreds of additional agents to the border to deal with the problem. This latest potential move by President Trump is igniting fierce debate from both sides. It certainly isn't a bluff. You can take the president seriously. And this president is looking at the metrics. When the president says he's going to close the border, that is a totally unrealistic boast on his part. The Democrats will not give us any additional money to do this. They won't give us any additional people. And importantly, they will not change the law that is acting as this giant magnet for people from South and Central America to come into this country. Well, we're going to do everything we can to stop it. It's totally absurd. What are we supposed to do? You have the Mexican government allowing thousands of people to walk all across Mexico. They provide them buses. They drop them off at the border and they say, here, United States deal with this problem. Pete, we got a very serious problem. You have the Secretary of Homeland Security saying, I can't guarantee that I can protect the country. I can't guarantee who's coming in. I, you have now this Border Patrol guy saying they've never seen anything like it. They're completely overwhelmed. This is like a cry for help. And Washington is actually where the problem could be solved. But they're throwing up their hands. But they're throwing up their hands, including former Obama administration officials like Jay Johnson coming out this weekend saying it is a crisis. A thousand a day when I was the DHS secretary would have been a bad day. Yep. Now we've got 4,000 a day. To not call it a crisis is, is to just totally deny Even reality. Even Bernie Sanders, though, did call it a crisis this weekend. But, but they call it a different kind of a crisis in, in a certain sense. They don't mm -hmm. see it as a law and order crisis. They don't see it as a reflection of the fact that this president's been serious about this problem and Congress never has been. And why do we keep trying to do things that don't work? On, this, on the questions of aid to Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. You have leaders of those countries that are helping to facilitate their citizens to leave those countries through Mexico to our country, yet we spend hundreds of millions of dollars, billions over years, trying to fix their governmental structures and their economy so that we don't have this problem. At what point do you say, this aid isn't working, so well, we're going to curtail it because it's, it's not helping us improve well, the situation on two of those governments border. are center-right and are supportive of the United States. And I don't know, do you, how do you feel about cutting off the aid? Do you think that will actually help us or backfire? You know, backfire tremendously. Look at the percentage of where the money goes, Dana. It's like 40% of the money goes to economic aid to try to stabilize and help those economies grow so people can have jobs there. More than half of the money goes to either law enforcement or crime suppression, in other words, dealing with gangs and the like. So again, that makes people feel safer there, less violence there, less likely to decide that it's worth their time to enter into but a trip. But they are leaving in droves. They are no, well, even more than ever. Because, again, and, you know, Dana's here. She's made this point on the show repeatedly. We need to invest in those countries substantially as a first step to stop people from making that trip. But I would say this. I don't think closing the border is going to help us if the problem is the humanitarian crisis. I think that more people will come to the border if they say, oh, the border is being closed, the border is closed, and then you're going to have to detain more people. And we know the big problem here, this is what uh, people are talking about, Pete, is that we don't have the facilities or the staff to deal with this. Because the Democrats don't want to fund it. They do want to fund it, but they don't want to play what has been Donald Trump's cruel politics of family separation? Well, that's telling this is a frustrating part. Oh, we have part, a wall. Right? That just what doesn't your, work. That's at least solution. Well, Dana, what I think President Trump is doing right now is trying to put as much pressure on Congress to actually do something because there are easy solutions to try to solve this problem with this influx of Central Americans seeking asylum in the country. You can do things like the Flores Decree. You can close loopholes like a loophole in the 2008 anti-human trafficking law that changes the way, uh, differentiates the way you treat Central American unaccompanied minors versus those coming from Mexico. There's things that Congress can do or look at our asylum and look at the disconnect between the amount of people that pass that initial screening, but just a really small amount, like 9% that actually get granted asylum in the courts. But instead, Congress has been making the problem worse. And we see that with the conferee um, solution that came uh, for DHS funding. And essentially what they did is you had Democrats trying to reduce the amount of ICE detention bills. You had the, them 
tying the hands of President Trump in both funding for a wall and the way that he could build the wall, mm -hmm. and then even things like Section 224, which essentially gives deportation immunity to potential sponsors with unaccompanied minors. So instead of helping the situation, Congress has made it worse. Um, well, that's, uh, that is sometimes the way it works. Yeah, good old, <laughs> no, Congress making it worse? Why are we picking, what's in our water? I know you're shot, um, Tyrus. Okay, what do you think about the, the shutting down of the border? That's a that's a financially that's dangerous for us. But <laughs> yeah, um, there's a crisis within a crisis, and we don't have enough um, border patrol agents to cover this. No, so we what don't. we're doing is is we're taking them away from our sea and airports to where we protect mm -hmm. around to go to this situation, which is leaving us vulnerable. And looking, I was doing some investigating, and the hiring process is broken to get these border patrol agents out there. Nine out of 10 applicants fail the polygraph, which means it's really like if they make, especially with our veterans, veterans a lot of times are turned away because one of the questions like, have you ever killed anyone? And someone in combat has a combat kill, they're automatically disqualified. So getting- Is that right? That's really? according to my source, yes. That's, hmm. And that's, that's wild to me We're gonna have to look into that, Pete. Yeah. We need to look we into that. We would have to look into that. Yeah. <laughs> so, Those are the guys um, we want. But, and but also I've heard that the morale people. for the people that are there is really low. Well, they're exhausted. And there's even there's some rumors that uh, the last time during the big during the shutdown they haven't been paid yet the back hours. Oh, so there's geez. a lot of things going on a crisis within a crisis. And then on top of yeah. that, you know, Congress has to do a lot of things. One, they've got to fix those visa loopholes yeah. because most of our legal immigrants are coming over legally. They're just not going back. So that's another big issue. So there's a lot of things going on. And on top of all of that, speaking of crisis, while we're dealing with all the stuff on our borders, let's not forget our farmers. Let's not forget those floods. Like, we have a lot of crises right now that we don't need arguing in politics. Yep. We need, and that money we is need being decisions. voted on yes, we today. Need. By the way, you know, just going back to where you started, Tyrus, which was economically, what an impact this is going to have on commerce. Our third largest trading partner is Millions. Mexico. Yep. But why are and we you're worried looking, about Mexico? Hang on, let me finish. The, you're the point is my about, focus is on the Americans no. whose jobs are being taken right. away through wages. But guess what, Pete? Being driven it's going to hurt American their jobs. Communities. It's going to hurt American jobs A because people will be put out of work. President so Trump you're going to you're gonna lose pain. in terms of skyrocketing prices on cars, alcohol, produce. People are saying in three weeks we're not going to have avocados. Well, it's not, and it's, it is a big decision. Okay. That's what would the liberals do without avocados? Well, without think, avocados. But this is I the like frustration. I actually do. That was wrong. But I think this is the frustration of President Trump because ever we people are acknowledging now that there actually is a crisis on the southern border. Jay Johnson, who we previously have that served, actually. Do you mind if I yeah, interrupt yeah, yeah, and play that? It. We have the sound from uh, former DHS Secretary Jay Johnson. By anyone's definition, by any measure. Right now, we have a crisis at our southern border. Uh, according to the commissioner of CBP, there were 4,000 apprehensions in one day alone this past week, and we're on pace for 100,000 apprehensions on our southern border this month. That is by far a greater number than anything I saw on my watch in my three years as Secretary of Homeland Security. Lisa. No, I mean, it probably helps to hear from the guy himself. So. <laughs> but as he laid out there, this is worse than what he saw when he served as DHS Secretary. So I think the fact that he's entering the fray, he's going on TV, he's talking about this crisis, one, is acknowledgement of the fact that there really is a lot going on at the southern border that we need to be paying attention to. And it lends a lot of credibility because the left and the media cannot say that this is manufactured crisis from President Trump with him weighing in. We it's mentioned not a Mar caravan. It's not an invasion. It sure is. And we mentioned... We mentioned it's an invasion? I, I, I think 100,000 people, people a month is a lot. I hate the word invasion. Military, yeah, I don't word. Blame me, we Tyrus. don't know who they By are. Those standards, we barely know why they're we coming. We are at a they, low they point, exploit, Pete. They exploit our laws. Pete, we've, I don't know who you're talking violence, about. Gang violence, drug violence, Pete, human trafficking. Pete, this is the... Really, we live in an era of terrorism. This is demonizing. But Most I'm not demonizing anybody. Not Come to our country legally. Not, but there's a way, like the, the way, one of the best ways to deal with it would but be the you're asylum. You're saying fine. You're saying fine. Well, that fine's not an answer. Wait a second. These people are, most of these people are families and children applying for asylum. That's legal. And most of them are That's rejected. Law. That's law. Most of legal. them are rejected. But, a lot but it's of legal these to children apply. Are, but one of the things that, uh, the Congress could fix this by the end of the week, which Correct. is the asylum law piece. The, the, yep. That piece of it, you could fix that and then deal with all of these other things and the descriptions and everything. That actually could help everybody, including those children who should not be put in that dangerous position. Sure. All right. Next. Dana yeah. for Congress. A brand new 